All that, all that hate, all that hate's not gonna do nothing for you. I'm incredibly lonely, actually, so you're probably right. Oh my goodness. You want to start this stream, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> you you want to start this one off? It's all yours if you want. No, you got it, bro. You got it. It's your world, bro. All right. <laughs> we just live Welcome in Welcome to Everyday Beam Struggle. We do whatever the fuck we want to do. 7 out of 10 intro. Yo, it would be more of... What is that noise? Is that courage? Well, I don't yeah. know. Who's pressing that? I don't know. It's, it's loaded, loaded, bro. 100% loaded. You can't prove that. You, you 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 have on record done it every episode so far. You are consistent. <laughs> have I? Yeah, yeah, yes. Every, every episode. Every time Everyone I edit this shit, I'm like, yeah. what's that sound? I was like, fault. hello? <laughs> Gotta win. Maybe. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I, I want you guys to know. Isn't that Eddie? No, it's crazy. With with me starting this 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 episode, I lost because of y'all. I'm blaming it on y'all. Right, uh, My fault. Pokemon okay. Unite in the side. Maybe so, hey, make sure you drop a like. Right. Make... I'm trying to can, can I farm bro? Like, this was Afro, we're on 2K. Afro, we're on 2K. The same tip, bro. It, make sure y'all drop a like, bro. I sacrificed a lot for y'all. We're we're on 2K, uh, Afro. What happened? 2K? We're, we're on 2K. Nah, nah. You know, Thunder, you should have you should have jumped on this with me, bro. We did a video on this a long time ago, but you just acting brand new, bro. You said this was yuck. Uh, I kept playing the game from? after we did that video and hated every minute of it. Or if it's not with a group of people, I cannot do Unite anymore. I'm right here, bro. I'm right here. I'm already oh, on 2K. Anyway, why would you play this game? I just don't understand. What, what, okay, what, Belvin, do do you fuck with MOBAs at all? Yeah, I play League. Okay, League will, League would make you good at this game. This is the harder one, bro. This is this is the real mode. No, it is. You telling me? You said not say that That's again, probably. please. You play <laughs> League and Smite to get ready for Pokemon Unite. Bro. <laughs> okay, you're right. That's, no, That's fuck me for. Like I thought Ooh. we were chilling. I, just don't I didn't think, say fuck you. I just don't bro, think you, that's you right. Well, you took shots at Smite. No, no, I'm saying you play because look, this is the tears, right? Unite most complicated MOBA of all time. Bro, bro. Afro, no, 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 no. Afro, history. Afro walked, walked, walked over to two people playing chess and said, "All right, but have y'all heard of checkers?" <laughs> <laughs> Afro sends you back at it. May I interest you in some tic tac toe? The, the <laughs> yes. <man's> game. <laughs> all right, but. But no, nah, I just I just fuck with Unite. It's like a guilty pleasure, bro. Like I, I think you, I think when you're able to evolve your Pokemon midway, it just it just do something for me. It feel good, you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right. Who is quote who being at the moment? Just curious. I'm Thunder and I are here already. I'm hopping on. My Let's PS5 is not turning on though, so I got to figure out why that's happening. You know, you know, you know, whooping and whooping are pretty close to each other. Like like getting a whooping, bro. You seen that Jake Paul fight? Yo. Oh. I it caught is, what, a, what, a tra what a transition. Let's go. What a, you, you know, what a no transition. Yet. Listen, it, what a fucking thank transition. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Job, bro. Said, you media train? Damn, that's pretty good. <laughs> a little bit. Good job. Bro. <laughs> Hold on, Jamal. Don't reveal my secrets. Hold on. <laughs> I forgot Unite was paying to win. I'm not going to lie. But that is true. I didn't know what the fuck that nigga was doing. Oh, I've been doing this, bro. Since Storm 4. Yeah, that nigga get still. Still, yo, we, we can get him the other storm too. I can do oh, other. I can do many segues, tricks. Easy with the segues. All right, right my fault. My fault. My fault. Right. I, I watched the fight. I don't know. I who caught the I, 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 the I watched. I watched the fight from the beginning to end. Okay, I did too. I kind of caught I, midway I did not through. See it. Fury was kind of piecing him up. Yeah, I mean, he was he, honestly, outside of the knockdown that Jake Paul had on uh, Fury, like it's probably way more lopsided because. I think the only reason it was even moderately close is because there was a knockdown. But like going through that entire fight, like Jake honestly looked super out of his league. Like just spamming overhead rights yeah, over exactly. and over again, over, over, has, over and over again. Oh, no, no, he was grabs. command grabs, command command grabs crazy, bro. He grabs, bro. He did, bro. No, no, real he shit. If it were for that, breath. if it were for that knockdown, it's literally like six two Tommy Fury, in my opinion. Okay, yeah. I, I, I didn't yeah. see it, but somebody said that knockdown looked more like he fell too, like bro, like nah, he tripped on his own well, feet. They, they, they showed it. They slow mode it. It didn't look like he slipped. Yeah, I, it was yeah, definitely it, the me. impact of the hit that made him that made him fall. Like he, gotcha, he gotcha. was at an awkward stance, but like it was definitely the impact of the hit that. that I can, I can that. see why they give him that a knockdown. It's still a pussy ass knockdown, if you ask me. I agree. He got, right, right, can, down he got right back. Can up. I say? I lost a lot of money because of Jake, bro. I'm just very Drake, that's your Why That's you your fault, Jake, bro. That's Why your you fault, bro. Why are you, you betting with Drake? I've I've won every single time, bro. No, I, I had to. The white man gang, like it wasn't that. It was two. It was two. It was two. It was two white men. In February, 
You said there was two white time. men fighting. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said every <laughs> single time. How many times have you have have you put money on Jake? Every single time. Yeah, man, you make your decision off another oh, back man. When he was back when he was fighting Deji too. Like, yeah, bro. No, no, no. Okay, not not the first one, but everyone after that. Bro, I, I be in discords racking it up, bro. I be coming through with my rake, just getting in my winnings, bro. It was great. It was what great. Thing, I, 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 I had a. Uh, I think you, you were. I think you were right on betting on him every time, except this one. To be honest, I think this one should have been well, this easy. Is the first time he easy fought a, an yeah. actual a boxer. I will say, bro, but, but like he got me in the then, genjutsu, he was like, bro. He was like he, this, is like a. I mean, I know he's like what six and zero, Tommy Fury, but he's like kind of like a, a newbie to boxing compared oh, to like yeah. he's a novice professional. Yeah, he's he is not that good. Like yeah, he is, people, he is a very, people, he's a, yeah, he's not that good yet. People look at him and they're like, "Oh, he's related to Tyson Fury." He's not Tyson Fury. He's he's yeah. literally. And I, what is their relation? I know they're brothers, but like, is it fully they're, biological? They're, or they're like, like half brothers. I'm pretty sure. I didn't oh, know. Okay. I thought that nigga was his son, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I did not know that. <laughs> it was, I think they have like the same 20, dad. Yeah, they they do have the same dad, but but they have like a 20 year gap between them. But I think they're half brothers. <laughs> Sorry, but. No, you're good, but yeah, I think I, I, I really think that like that that Itch. fight was was very very obvious. They, they wanted to make it a draw. I know they did. They wanted it to be a draw really fucking bad. Yeah. And that knockdown, I got scared because that yeah, no I was like I was like oh bro. no. I was like nah, this is this is gonna be the reason. This is gonna yeah, be the reason. Bro, was like, oh, but but no. but here's my thing. Can we really talk about this? Like, I think a villain in a in a sports event or in any type of events like that is good to, it's good to have right no 100%. like you don't want jake sure. to win off of the fact to continue the lower bro like like what's up like you no, really want to see him lose? <laughs> what bro, I, I, honestly, uh, what? I didn't care i was good either way on like, a real if he note won, then because i i don't have like this animosity or a hate towards fucking jake like i don't care oh, i do i do <laughs> i do <laughs> he's annoying as fuck i do Jake's been building up his uh WWE like, heel he's arc. Annoying. He's not a good. He's just not a good person at all. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but well. but like but like you know what I'm saying? Like we're just watching boxing. Like everybody's tuned into the event. Like I feel like you got to just go off of the storylines at that point, right? Bro, the most petty shit that I heard is apparently Jake. He has a rematch clause, so like if he lost, which he did, he can get a rematch. But if he would have won, Tommy Fury can't get a rematch with him. Oh, but what oh, was crazy true. before the fight? They bet double or nothing of all the winnings. So oh, Jake God. lost. And got nothing out of it, yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah. And Jake so was on. I was like, damn, that's petty as fuck, but like risky. It was basically winner takes all and loser literally gets nothing, like no cut. Yeah. But you know what also sucks, though? I'll, I'll, I'll entertain the whole like, you know, uh, storyline thing. What really sucks is that he didn't even get knocked out. Jake Paul just got outboxed. That looks worse. Yeah, yeah, that, that, like, that was way like, worse. That was that, way that worse. looks way because if he gets knocked out, it's like okay, it's like it's it's a it's a highlight and people are gonna go crazy. But like, yeah. you can nah, come back I'd from a KO. Get, I'd rather get outboxed and get laid on my ass. I'm not no, lie. no, no, not for Jake Paul because Jake Paul still thinks I'm a real boxer. If you get knocked out, you can excuse that. Like, that, yeah, that you, you have a yes. Can you appear online? <laughs> oh yeah, I got you. I'm sorry. Um. But if you get knocked out, there's plenty of boxers that have gotten knocked out and come back. Whereas, like, if you get outboxed, there's no arguing that. I would yeah. personally rather get outboxed than knocked out. Yeah, me well, I'm, 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 saying, I'm, I'm saying I, no, I would rather get knocked. I mean, I mean outboxed, sure. But I'm saying, like, in Jake Paul's position. <laughs> niggas that knock me the fuck nah, out. No, nah, nah, no. Nah. But, it, but in Jake Paul. Me? Nah. No, but I, no, I we're, we're, that, we're, that, we're that, different. That, I'm not getting knocked. I'm killing you, bro. Fuck that. I'm, I'm <laughs> different. I, I, but I'm not Jake Paul. I, I refuse. I don't, I, yeah, nigga, everybody dying. But, <laughs> but as far as like in this position, though, I feel like if you get outboxed like that for it, because his whole point was like, yo, I'm a good boxer. Shane Dawson I'm is also not the person you want goodwill from because Shane Dawson is also a horrible human being. He got outclassed so. by a novice fighter. I mean, yeah. you know what I mean? Right, we say that, but like, yeah, he no, did kind of held his, like, thing he thing held his own. He did. It, 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 it was like, I mean, I'm going to give him props it's, where props do. Yeah. Like, yeah. we're going up like someone like that caliber. But but that the thing is, but Tommy doesn't. He's not. There's no caliber though. He's not that good. Is my thing. thing is, is, like, no, no, no. He, but look, listen, if he is like the welcome mat, I feel like does, he at least proves that he at least has room to grow. Does Jake and Paul not have more boxing experience than than Fury? Barely. Like, I wouldn't even call the people no, he fought no, experience. No, because no, I guess the people. Well, I guess I can't say this for sure, but I'm pretty sure the people Fury fought before because he was six and zero going in. They were at least other novice boxers that he beat, right? Yeah, like, they were. Yes, it yes, wasn't. Like, yes, it wasn't yes. like a fucking NBA basketball player and fucking. Yes. You yeah. know, whatever the fuck, it was actual. Jake was fighters. like fighting like lunch ladies and shit. Like this is like <laughs> I do think this was that both of their hardest fights though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it definitely was. It, it definitely, definitely was. was both their hardest fights for sure. I 100 percent agree with that. But I think like I think with especially with the amount of like uh, clinching and hugging going on, 
the fight was kind of like oh, sure, mid. Sure. But did you watch I, the but, fight before that? Did you did you get the yes, event? The fight I did before watch. that was way better. It was. It was that, that that's every like creator event though, because they always have like yeah. a co-main event with real boxers. That, that was actual WBC like championship yeah. fight. Yeah, th- those are guys. It wasn't the main boxers. fight. It was the the YouTuber fight was the main fight. But I, I tweeted fight. about this and I said like the thing is though what, what what I feel like we saw today was like there's a difference between someone like Tommy Fury whose like entire family is they live and breathe boxing. Yeah. Whereas Jake Paul got called out by someone like three years ago and said, "Fuck it, I'm boxing now too." Like he just has unlimited money and time and resources to get the access to like most training we'll never get access to. So honestly, there are people who are saying that like at least he got the pro boxers. Like, duh, nigga. Like that's that's your whole gimmick is you want to be a boxer. Yeah, I don't, make I'm not me gonna... a fucking hundred millionaire and I'll be a boxer too. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's like it's like it's like saying at least I played against LeBron. It's like you want to play against the best, right? Like I'm not gonna give you props for doing what you're supposed to do. And he lost. I, to me though, from like I I love boxing. Like I I love boxing. I think he got severely like outclassed on a technical yeah. stance today. Yes, yes, like, yeah. yes. like really, like, it was really apparent. He did, I, but I ahead. always just give props for like anybody for anybody who gets in the ring. Like even if it's on like some joke shit, like you are putting every like like all of your fucking honor on the line to like get in front of like thing, thousands, I millions mean, of what, people. But what, but what honor? What, what, what no, Jake Paul, what does he have to lose no, though? No, I think this is all a joke thing. Like he doesn't care. Like he's not passionate about boxing. He's doing well, it to well, stay relevant and to get his bag up. Like, okay, but, but, but let me, let me ask this question, right? Like I always hear this thing relevant argument and I feel like it's, I can get it to a degree because it's you like what you can see. My... Like you, you, you got a dude who's like starting off on Disney and just did a few other things, right? His career has evolved in like a full circle way that most creators don't get to experience. Like, I, I really don't think this was about like staying relevant. I, I really think like yeah, at a point, like, like he, he was genuinely into it at this point, you know? Yeah, like I feel like, I feel like I he, he was genuinely, got... yeah, he genuinely I cared. About I think being good at boxing, I think he I... does want that to be his thing. I think, I mean, two or three years into it, you can argue that, but besides boxing, what else does he do now? And that's what I'm saying, right? But 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 but, 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 yeah. but no, but no, no, but 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 I'm saying though, wouldn't he? I mean, Logan does like four different things, and he's good at content and wrestling and and fighting. So does KSI. Jake Paul completely quit content. I don't, I don't think Jake Paul is pulling more in the content world personally. I think Jake Paul stopped because he like what what does he do? No one cares about Jake Paul anymore. He tried a podcast that failed abruptly. That that he ever? Well, yeah, yeah, I like do think it's episodes. at the point now. Definitely, like more people, because if you look back to like his first couple fights everyone's like the if you took a poll of the majority of people who know jake paul and what they know him for most people are going to be like youtuber but i feel like now if you did like that same poll for like people who know of jake paul now i feel like the majority of people are going to like know him as like that guy who does some boxing matches celebrity and boxer like, that's, but that's yeah, but that's I don't, that, that's I don't agree okay. with that. no i'm okay, not no, no, saying no, no, no. he should be known as a boxer but i feel like the majority of people now Probably, bro. Nah, I saw yeah, him on I, ES. I, I saw him talking to Stephen A. on first take, and that was like the but, third but the time he's done like, that. He's always introduced as a YouTube boxer. Like everybody knows he's a YouTuber. Like before, like he's like a content creator type shit. Before he's a boxer, that's how he's always like introduced. So I don't think that like the general person to be like, oh, Jake Paul, that boxer guy. I think well, yeah, like, I don't oh, think they call him that boxer guy. I think they definitely there is an asterisk on there. Yeah, like yeah, they, yeah, they're sure, not just sure. like straight up. Oh, he's a boxer. I think but he's put a couple more years Lee, into boxing before he's known. <laughs> it's like the full 180, like ludicrous ass. Like most people, like, oh, he's the Fast and Furious guy instead of the rapper. I feel yeah. like he needs a couple more years, uh, and you know, to be a squad of it. To be, <clears> but even then, it's uh, I mean, the four of us are already here. Even then, I feel like that's mostly like you got to be younger for for that to be the be the case, right? Because oh. like. And anyone who's like twenty something or older, like I think it's no ludicrous was a rapper before he was an actor. Yeah. It's, it's only if like you're a teenager or younger, you're like, oh, you mean the guy from the Fast and Furious movies? Like, no, Nicky, you don't know about, <laughs> you don't know about Ludo, you don't know about Throw the Bowl, you don't know about the Blueberry Yum Yum, Nicky. Yeah, that, that is crazy. Did, did, I you think guys, about a lot of people, what like, interest and like what you've been doing, you know, career wise for the last, I don't know, five six years. You know, I don't think of, Jake Paul's there yet to be considered boxer material. Or, or even considered a boxer, even though he's been kind of doing celebrity boxing. I Did feel you guys like see what KSI posted about this? Yup. Yeah, no, that was great. That was, was great. Gonna, I was going to ask, I was gonna ask, honestly speaking, do you think, because if you guys, just for those who aren't in the loop, KSI basically made, you know, his typical, you know, tweet video, just laughing at Jake, you know, he he's smoking that Jake pack, whatever, whatever. But he also said, 
he could beat the shit out of uh, both Jake and Tommy Fury. If that fight did happen, who would you guys have out of KSI? Bro, KSI, bro. KSI, bro. KSI fought Logan, not Jake. Uh, for the yeah, I'm, I'm going. I'm going KSI, bro. Sorry. Uh, I don't pay for attention the... to this shit enough. I don't fucking know. Okay, KSI beat beat Logan. For, are for KSI and Jake friends or not? No, no, KSI and Logan are friends, not Jake. I don't. I don't keep up with that. I thought. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he started Prime, which is like their energy drink company or whatever, uh, with Logan, because they buried the hatchet, and that's the person that KSI had fought in the past twice. Um, beat him the second time. But with Logan, it was always like, I don't know. It, it's always been shit talk and like, I guess, awkward in a way, mm -hmm. at least from the outside looking in, because like, obviously, uh, Logan and KSI are business partners or whatever. But um, at the same time, it, his fucking brother Jake and KSI fucking hate each other. So it's like, you know, whatever, whatever. <laughs> but I feel like in terms of the matchups, because even if we say, uh, Jake's had, you know, less competition than like a Tommy Fury or whatever. Um, he still has had more competition than I, I think KSI so far. In terms of like who he's fought. Did, did, did you see the other fight today, Dion? Yeah, I watched all of them. No, the other one that happened today. It was earlier. Uh, like in the same event? No, no, no. It was separate. It was like before this one today. No, I, I didn't. Uh, it was uh, Aiden Ross versus the timeline. Yo, okay. Yo, 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 come on, bro. Yo, come on, bro. Yo, let him go. Yo, fuck with me, bro. Where'd you, where'd you get this bag from? It's not shaky, but this one was good. What brand of segue did you buy? Because you're in this bitch. You're, 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 Thank right, you, bro. So do you want to introduce the topic? Because I got a lot I can say about this. Let's nigga, go, so. bro. Let's go. Where do we begin, bro? I think so it all starts. If, we, if we're going to be technical, it all started when Aiden Ross he was had his breakup, bro. When Aiden Ross had his breakup. And we going way back. We, go, we, we got to get the war. Because that, watch that, this. That watch is this. When it, that we, is when it started. He's right. Yeah. Like, like, like we, we never talked about, uh, you know, uh, Andrew Tate, right? So this is a good way to introduce all of the lore, right? So way back. Personally, I thought Aiden was very entertaining as a creator from a few, from a content creator perspective because I never like he was the first to do a lot that he was doing in it to be received well. Like he was coining like acting like gay for clout and making it work. Like he was over here doing it on like rappers and all these things. With big rappers and shit. Yeah, yeah. So you you're watching him for like the shock value, right? It's just like that I feel like that was the content he was going for and for me it was interesting to watch it just all unfold, right? And there was a lot of good clips that came from it. I, I won't lie. Like, uh, honorable mention. I don't know if you guys seen the Keemstar moment when Keemstar was there. That, was... Okay, that is a, that's a classic <laughs> clip. Like, nobody rocking with Keem on that. Oh, my. That, I've never that seen clip it. is hard to watch, man. Yes, it's bro. so cringe. Hello, I yes, don't know that word lately. That is probably one of the most cringe clips I've ever seen. Yep. Um, but, yeah, anyways. So, going from that lore. Anyways, uh. When Aiden was coming up, it, it seemed like from the, the start of his career, he was with this girl um, and they were together for like quite a time. I think her name was like Pammy something. Um, and, you know, they ended up breaking up right now. Prior to them breaking up, Andrew Tate arc just started. He's just starting to introduce to, you know, what I'm saying social media and blowing up out of nowhere. And he did content with them. But I believe at one point I remember Aiden saying specifically uh, that he, he was pretty much on the lines of like he didn't believe in the mantra that Andrew Tate was spitting. Like this all seemed like it was just content, right? Yeah. So once him and his girlfriend broke up, uh, you, you can tell it was really affecting, dude. And the people that he started leaning towards in this situation, it seemed to be Andrew Tate. Like, because he was hanging out with him a lot. And Andrew Tate was saying all this stuff about him being a pussy on stream. And he just, he would, you were, he was changing b before our eyes, basically, right? So, fat, like that, 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 that's the premise. Fast forwarding to now, uh, he got a deal on Kick. But it, uh, he still was streaming on on Twitch. Uh, he at this point was already really red pilled up, right? And he was just like on some other shit, basically. On the other platform he was on, he streamed porn, and I believe that initial that in turn got him banned off of Twitch. Um, and ever since then, it's just been a lot of like extremes, like with the porn thing. He streamed like uh, with all of his audience. Um, just a lot of his takes are just like you can tell reaching for attention like today he said there's like there's only two genders or something like that 
And you know, you only say that if you're trying to piss people off. Like, like you, you're, you're yep. saying that because you're saying you want to fight today, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's just it's just these extreme left and rights that all started happening ever since he had this breakup. And I, I might have had this timeline a little shaky because I'm playing the game, but yeah, that, that, that's the premise. Go on, Omega. No, can, so yeah, no, you're spitting. So I'm about to like, I'm about to, I might be on my preachy shit. Y'all can cut me off whenever, but this is why a lot of people like make such a big fuss about dudes like Andrew Tate and now Aiden Ross, dudes who like prey on uh, on other men who are feeling weak or frail in their lives. And particularly it happens to a lot of young men. Like Aiden Ross goes through his first ever heartbreak. And who does he have in his ear to try to get him through that? The number one most misogynist human being on planet earth. Like, could you imagine like at the lowest point in your life where you're like, oh my God, this bitch did me so dirty. Like I fucking hate this bitch. And you got this fucking dude spitting in your ear, all this misogynist shit, it'd probably work on a lot of people. I don't even necessarily blame Aiden I Ross. I mean, it, for it getting, clearly like, does. That's how this nigga has exactly, the following he does. <laughs> exactly. That's why people, like, are so gung-ho about, like, oh, like, fuck Tate and fuck all this shit, because this stuff has real ramifications on real people. When we talk about this, or at least I talk about this shit on my stream, where, like, teachers will be like, oh, this kid in my class today just called uh, all the girls in the class dumb whores who don't have to work for their money. They're in fourth grade. Like, who do you think they're learning? Learning this shit from this is why this shit is so dangerous because this is what our youth is consuming right and, so and likewise you... the same thing applies to creators and streamers and stuff like Ex like an Aiden right. Ross because the majority of their following is young and impressionable and it's exactly. like while it's not while it's not their responsibility to obviously raise these kids you have to take into account and be aware of who your audience is and the type of things you're teaching them right so now you got later bpl thanks for coming out man been off on aiden ross while aiden is in this like vulnerable ass position and now aiden is the person that he is right now and this is why i despise when people say oh it's just jokes oh oh like it doesn't mean shit like they're just joking around or whatever like for for example that clip of aiden ross uh where he's playing gta 5 rp this nigga role playing as a as a white cop in gta rp kills a black man in the middle That's of the yikes. street and you know what I'm saying? And it, they say, oh, it's just jokes. It's just jokes. But where does that shit lead to? Yeah, that's, I thought yeah. Tate was just jokes. I, I thought say, the shit it's, Aiden it's, Ross was saying it's not on really a was joke, just though, jokes. It's, 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 it's really just right. jokes until they flip the switch and start, you know, start exactly, doing what he's doing exactly, now. Exactly. Exactly. And the thing is, is that it's very hard to, to transition from jokes to, like, it being, like, real life. Like, this is why uh uh it, it, it's like a popular thing in psychology like you don't want to like talk down on yourself or like make self-deprecating jokes all the time because then you start to believe that shit you know what i mean like like it, you, the shit that you say and do as jokes like eventually not only impacts the people that are watching you if you're a content creator but it also impacts you so yeah i think that aiden ross at first like yeah this nigga take kind of crazy i don't really believe none of this shit but then he got his heart broken and he hangs around andrew tate a little bit too much he's like hold on this nigga like kind of spilling these bitches really ain't shit because he's a fucking he's a he's a this what 21 22 and he's a millionaire like you know what you know how big that ego gotta be that that and like who do you really talk to when you're in that position right you're yeah, gonna lean to somebody right. who's also making money it, yes exactly. i want to also add to omega's point to cut you off uh that like this this exact situation is why i think um i really kind of despise the whole um idea that during andrew tate's like rise people always harped on the fact that like you know some things he said were true and you know some of the excuses got a crazy right and I think people need to understand that, like, if I'm arguing Omega, and we're talking about, you know, we don't, like, uh, he likes pineapple on pizza, I don't. We can disagree on that, right? But if he says go to the gym workout, yeah, Omega's right. If Andrew Tate says go to the gym, work on yourself, and also women belong in the kitchen, like, you can't just dis like it, it's it's a tactic, <laughs> to, but that's what he does, right? It's yeah, like, exactly. and whenever it's your, you're at a low Asking point, a second. whenever you're at a low point, it gets you one thing that's right everything sounds right because like afro said this guy's rich and has money just like aiden does so i'm gonna look at this guy who he's in shape has a six pack has all these women in cars if he says to work out yeah that's right and uh, and meditate yeah that's right and also women are currency okay maybe he's right too like it it, it it's it's a, it's a cycle right like it feeds into itself because if he's right about one thing and that worked maybe he's right about everything and it's exactly how vulnerable guys fall in this trap all the time not just Aiden Ross, uh, Tate's whole audience. People this don't why... realize Tate's whole audience is literally him preying on broken spirited men. Yeah, that's yeah, all exactly. it is. That's like, all it is. It's so easy to sell self help to people that feel like they have nowhere left to go. I'll but, like, take anything is... for help. 
this is why it was so problematic and i don't really like to use that word because i feel like it's like kind of a, a buzzword that niggas be cringing at but it really was problematic when everybody was platforming andrew tate for like that month or two because think of how many minds he was able to infect in that short time like yeah it's funny Keck w like oh he, he fucking he got the streamers to say this or do this like the whole meme was that like andrew tate went on aiden stream and bitched him so now like Andrew Tate, like, or uh, so now Aiden Ross is going on, you know, fucking Reddit, going on Twitter or whatever. Everybody calling him a bitch. Like, damn, like Andrew Tate just bitch, bro. So he's like, oh, I don't want to be like a bitch. Maybe I got to be like Andrew Tate, be more alpha or whatever. And uh, all the other people that are watching that content, how many of those people were like listening to Tate? Like, hold on, this guy's kind of making some points. This guy kind of spin. That's why you don't want to give niggas like that a platform because they spread shit like this. And now you got Aiden Ross. It's like, it's literally like a cancer. Like it starts with Andrew Tate. He infects a big, huge conglomerate like Aiden Ross. And now there's millions and millions of kids all across the globe watching Aiden Ross like, damn, like Aiden, Aiden is spitting. Aiden is, is King W Aiden or, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, and it's like for a lot of men that are in a place of like, you know, looking for something, looking to look up to somebody, it's like all the, the, the cars and the lifestyle he's flexing is it, I feel like to a certain degree, I can even picture my own life, right? Mm. At a certain young age, I'll be like, yo, maybe this guy's on to something, right? Oh, Especially when you got bro. all these classes, bro. I think the craziest thing for uh, that, that's, that's, a, that's a trend that's not, I think Andrew Tate kind of put um, a, a more of a uh, monocle on it where you can see it happening more often where people are trying to pitch these these classes like hustles university or whatever uh that, that is saying you can make money now do all this shit it's, it's like the new three six it's, it's a new pyramid Whoa. scheme right but, yeah, but like exactly. they have all these things and they're and they're doing it in, 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 on, on social media where you're watching kai um you know dbg all, all all the you know up and coming people that you're you're, you're you're looking at usually right and you see these people on the side you know also successful in the same clicks and they just throw some some side comment like hey hustles university hey uh, th this shit whatever you can make money right now and it takes money to get in there and I, I feel like people you know would look so up to these figures and what they got they'll even quit their school to do it like it's, it's a dangerous game bro it's, 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 a, it's very you know dangerous I, well, you know what i like in this too you remember back in the day and it was a very easy trap for like a lot of like young gamers specifically to fall into Back in the day, the hot topic was remember Anita Sarkeesian? Yeah, but like, yeah, if that's you're, actually a perfect segue. It's like the wormhole, because like first you start watching all these people like, I'm a gamer, I'm not sexist, you know, no, no, no. And then they start, you know, trickling these other shit, like, that's why, and then you start going down this alt-right like I, pipeline. Okay. I'm talking about this shit a lot because I'm gonna keep it a bean. Like that shit worked on me. Back in the day, Bro. I would watch those like oh like uh libtards getting owned compilations or whatever and i would watch those and i would laugh at the people who were like raging or freaking out over something small but in all of those videos there's like little nuggets of misogyny little, yes, and little nuggets yes. of shit that that it brings it's like breadcrumbs down the alt-right pipeline so then i'm sitting here having like alt-right views and shit i didn't even know it i didn't even know what's happening to me that's why this is like really dangerous because like they like you like Malvin was saying they'll hit you with like a couple things that you agree with and then they'll start like trickling some other shit to couple with it. So you start associating like, look it's at these like, losers. Like, what the honestly, fuck are they talking about? It's it's cult shit, right? Because yeah, they, yeah. They, they they pull you in on like one thing that's like rational and you might need in your life at the time. Yeah, and then it then after that, all the other shit comes out because you trust them now, right? And I want to go back to what Afro said as well. That like, bro, whenever I was 16, 15, and I got my heartbreak for the first time, down bad, no money, no bitches. And some nigga with cars, Sorry. money, and bitches came to me and said, "Hey, bro, <laughs> mm. you want some cars, money, and bitches? Do so this." Well, that, that's, <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's the thing, though, right? It's 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 either okay like way. it's either like you just got your heart broken, or there's a lot of guys who just don't get women until they hit a certain age or even at all for a while and they are, are it's almost like they're already looking for a reason right and then you have mm -hmm. someone who's successful come out and say oh by the way women suck and you're like yeah it's not me it's the women that are wrong that's yeah, why they it, won't yeah, it, it, it validates it's not your fault it, king it's not your fault you're a hustler you're part of the university they're just so hoes women, yeah that shit yeah that, that's fault. that's where the whole like preying on the vulnerable and broken spirited part comes in because they validate their shortcomings by saying it's the world's fault not theirs like it's the girl's fault that you're like like all this other stuff and then and then they preach all this shit but then say go get money work out and do it to get women you hate right. them right. but you're Stop. gonna spend your whole life trying to get these women that you hate it's yeah. so backwards yeah no so can i can i bring out just while we're on that subject before andrew right. tate literally streamed porn on kick like two weeks before before he had the kick deal he was on twitch talking about how uh Iden ross before 
he was talking about how porn is like a sin and a poison in our society and oh, shouldn't yes, be shown at all. Critical shit. Yep, yep. And yep, that yep. was some yep. Andrew Tate shit. That's like the Andrew Tate. Uh, there's a current thing with the Proud Boys right now where there was like a, a form getting passed around that they omit to where like they don't beat off. Like you can't beat off, and if you do, it's only once a month, and you have to be within six foot of a woman or something, right? But they're like, they're like anti-masturbation and stuff like that. But then two weeks later, he's streaming porn. Yeah. Yeah, then the no the no fab thing has been a pretty fucking ridiculously large movement on like the, the underbelly of the internet recently. It's kinda crazy. But I do think the whole the how but did you see his reason why he said he did that on kick, the porn thing? No. He 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 said uh because he was asked about it. He said cause his chat was spamming to do it and he wanted to prove a point. <laughs> Oh, right. That 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 that's that was his reasoning behind why he showed so porn he, on. He showed outside porn looking in, I thought. Yeah, that's, that's totally what rational. I thought it was, I thought it was like fuck. it was like, hey, look what I can do the on no this balls. platform that I couldn't do on that I couldn't do on Twitch, and I'm not. I mean, but but, but regardless if that's true. Full of like 14 year olds. No, I mean, oh, I'm weird. not justifying it, but I. No, I no, no, I guess oh, he did. no, but but despite like that too, like it's it's more so like you know the fact that he was preaching that like he's anti this this shit, and still to prove a point. All his values disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> the I mean, proof to, point. To, to have to do a callback to the first episode, it's like if me and Balvin said all that shit about Hogwarts and then streamed it. Just to prove a point. Yeah. Like, <laughs> just, just, but just, but just my chat dared me to. Just to prove a point. Like, what? I just, I just want to show you I could do it. I could do it. <laughs> it's well within my ability. In case y'all forgot, so. <laughs> I am that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> God, don't capture card. Like, don't test me. <laughs> But well, yeah, I, listen, I've been out of the loop, out of like, oh I don't God, like, don't most hit. of these niggas I don't know, so this is kind of like the first time I'm hearing all about all this, but the first thing when like, Thunder was like, bring this up to my attention, I asked, how old was he? And he was like, early 20s, all right, that sounds about right, because like, when I started like, falling down that path, I was like in my early 20s, right, and I feel right. like, you really don't wake up until you start experiencing more of life, it's like, holy shit, they, the, exactly, <laughs> and they just chatting over here. This is the thing, like, all of these dudes right now that are popping on the internet, these niggas are under 24, bro. Yeah. Like also, holy also, shit, also, really kids. quickly, really quickly. This does not. We I know y'all don't y'all y'all aren't saying this, but I want to say this in case that doesn't excuse any of the behavior. Right, exactly. One, no, right. No, no, but I don't know. Oh no, no. But, no, but, but we but were not doing it, this shit at 24. No, but to make it even worse though, to I, and I'm gonna give this to Aiden Ross and probably everybody else popping off right now. They might be 21, like physically, but most of these guys mentally are probably still 17. Because if you men, if you if you blew up. Well, one, well, quick, low, slower than women, bro. Men definitely have a sl much slower evolved time, number one. But number two, these guys blew up on the net when they're like when they were 15, 16 and got money, viewers. This goes yeah. back to our that uh first episode of the season. Imagine now, whenever it, you blow up, we never yeah, go ahead, Thunder. Go ahead. Oh, I was just trying to think. Like, like imagine if socially, like like if you got big at like 16, and instead of having to do that thing where you have to talk to people normally and like have regular human being interactions and, and develop regular social skills, everyone is just sucking your dick because you have money and internet fame. Right. Yeah. Like everybody's right. just sucking it. You literally have to you like you can stop developing because nothing's no, pushing yeah. you to do that anymore. Absolutely. And and this and this is not being me saying that's to excuse it or to make sense of it. It's to show how much more vulnerable these guys are mentally. Yeah. Because if because you might be 21, but really when you're 21, even without this shit, you're probably like 18 or 19 mentally, to be honest. Yeah. But with the internet, the pandemic, YouTube, clout, viewer social media, your progression as an adult does not happen as fast as the common person. So it, it 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 makes it makes these guys all the more vulnerable for someone like an Andrew Tate to come in out of the cut and be yep. like, yeah, it's it makes it so much easier. Like, so as because you you can tell because like um. Like what Afro said, like the uh, the the tweet he put out today about the whole two dangerous thing, whether he believes that or not doesn't fucking matter. You're only tweeting that to cause shit. Like yeah. you're you're yeah. trying you're trying to cause disruption. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not, because you have no reason to just say it for 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 no 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 nobody's provoking you, no one's debating you, just saying it because you want to. You want to cause shit, and that is a young I'm man's mentality. Like, and the, and guess what? This guy's a multimillionaire. Just shut up. You won. You won the game. I, I would go a step further to kind of argue, like, when you're a YouTuber or a content creator to that degree, right? Um, You know, for a lot of us, because we just do gaming and shit. Well, I, I can't say a lot. Well, it, it depends. I, don't, I really don't know. Like, I, I don't pay attention to, like, niggas' peaks and shit like that, right? But usually when people are playing games, it's like their peaks are coming from, like, uh, a specific game. Or maybe mm -hmm. it's, like, a specific idea type shit. Uh, and, and that is the crux bringing the views. But for these niggas, it's like it's them. 
like like they are the source right and like mm. i can understand how that can be stressful to a degree because i feel like you 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 feel the need to always be at go all the time and, and you know what i'm saying but i feel like when you're also like how would you say in the ages between what maybe like 18 to like 23 like like you you start blurring the lines between what should be content and this is who i actually am right and i feel like that's the problem like like i feel like aiden is doing this because maybe somewhere down the line he thinks he has like a a message to preach but he, he doesn't do that right natural naturally right and and th this all just comes off in the same way that he does any other content it's like shock, shock value shit yeah. but like he he now wants to be taken seriously but he's he's not really doing anything different that he's always done is just more toxic now right mm. it's like i feel like the the lines between real uh pro making progress and, and and fighting for something like they're just blurred with making content like like uh as omega said with mr beast last episode right like content brain type thing. shit like right, like that that's, right yeah well that's I, and, I, and i think and i think that that because i mean like whether you liked his content or not before this i agree with you this is he did not he had no passion to like spread any kind of message for humanity at one point and i think that is a direct root of tape that is a that is that is that is directly tied to him the whole red pill escaping the matrix thing now this guy feels like he has to save people right and save the youth that is the content now like that majority of it is at least like he's it's, like, it's, he, it's, he was, it's a, so profitable to do that like you got yeah. a bunch of like young vulnerable kids and like oh i'm trying to save y'all i'm trying to protect y'all they're gonna they're gonna love you bro they're gonna worship you and that's exactly what we see on twitter yeah no ab absolutely that's why and you I, can't tweet shit about aiden without his little army coming at you like crazy aiden owns you bro l yeah <laughs> aiden, aiden I, owns I, I, I think you. i think one thing that aiden kind of exposed to in my opinion i wouldn't even say aiden specifically but more so like this wave of content creators that the W and L communities people are calling it, mm -hmm. um, like like Twitch, Twitch low keys on some shady shit, and we've always known that. But this time it's like I'm watching these niggas play chess live. Like when they banned Aiden like permanently, they also unbanned Bruce, I who's part of that, that community, who who got a notification for getting banned permanently. Right? It's like they literally did a live NBA trade. I don't even know, like, 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 what is this? You know, you know what I'm gonna, saying? I was busy Twitch today, but I, wa I was gonna tweet that because I did notice that. Bro, that it was, was crazy. Very suspicious timing. Yeah. Do y'all think that for real is a thing, though? Or are we just, are we like, leaving? Like, no, I it literally happened that way. No, 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 no. I know, I, I know the timing I'm saying, do you, but do you genuinely think, no, like, I that think, was... I think Bruce was always going to get unbanned at, uh, at this time, regardless. Because I think it's been, like, a full month since his last ban. So it makes sense that it would fall, like, on this day. And I think they... I think they chose a good time to like ban Aiden because one, there is a lot of like controversy around him right now. He's done a lot of things that are well worth the ban. And then also right. Bruce is back. So it's like, it's, I don't know. I don't want to say for sure it's they're like correlated in any way, but it, it does, you know, it, it, it's a good look for Twitch, I guess, because if it was just Aiden getting banned and there was no other like big news going on, uh, yeah, that would have probably been messy. Wait, but correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't Bruce show a screenshot or something saying he got indefinitely banned for stream evasion or some shit? It, it indefinitely just kind of means, like, this is why Twitch sucks, but indefinitely just kind of means whenever, like, Twitch wants to unban you. Because when I got banned for 30 days, it also said indefinitely. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's terrifying. So, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so nothing back to you, huh? When you're asking, like, when or anything like that? Uh, no, they never got back to me. No, nah, that, yeah. that sucks. Yeah, indefinitely I, I can they mean... Got back I'd imagine yeah. they got back to Bruce though, because I, I mean, he's I, fucking Bruce. I yeah, I, I agree. I, I think that, that's why I asked because I, I know because indefinitely does Twitch is is saving themselves right because they don't unban you. They said it was indefinite, but right. indefinite just means basically to be determined. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I, I, I understand yeah. that. I just remember key moments of people saying they got banned, and they I, I remember seeing them stay banned. And that was like the screenshot they put when they saw it, like definite, right? So that's, that's that was why I guess I was asking. No, 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 because no, you're not wrong with that's that, that's just Twitch saving their own ass. Because if they don't I unban also, you now, then they're clear. I'm also positive they like told him that he was gonna get unbanned eventually. Because if you got you got to think about it, if Bruce was legitimately like banned forever and Twitch told him like, yeah, we have no plans on unbanning you, you'd have probably been a lot louder on social media and probably would have made content on another platform by now. He was just probably waiting it out until he got unbanned. But I'm, that's, just head, that's just head cannon, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that makes I mean that makes sense to me though. Not gonna yeah. lie, because he was like radio silent after it. I know he was. He went nuclear at first, but then like just didn't say shit. 
for a few weeks. Yeah, my 2K averages are going crazy down after this. <laughs> I'm no, sorry, bro. If it makes you feel guys. better, I'm like one of the best Unite players known to I man. It's been going great. Bro, bro you, if you bro. look at the VOD, yo, bro, chat. I, chat. You, I believe it. I believe it. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. You in the, in the, in the <laughs> wide 10 player base. Bro, I was going to say, do right people even play that game still? They do. It's me, people. All seven it's of me, them. people. Yikes. You and Aiden Ross's fan base on the game right now. Yo, what the fuck? Yo. <laughs> a bunch of fucking hey, toddlers. I, I, I know for a fact people play this shit uh -huh. because so many people on here are, are, are talking about how they're hyped for Pokemon Day tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard about Pokemon Day with the streams and the release from the rumors. Ramon, why are you ruining this for me? What do you mean? No one's heard about it. Yes, they have. I don't I think anyone. Chat. I, I hadn't heard about it. Chat, look. Chat, look. Moon is sabotaging me because I know for hey, a fact he saw oh the script in, in the chat, bro. He's just chatting, bro. For a fact he saw the script in the chip, chat, bro. What he knew this Pokemon was what we were going to talk about. Right? Huh? It what wasn't. It was a segue, but Moon made it. Right, so you wouldn't know that. Damn. <laughs> you, you sabotaged me purpose, purposefully. It's all right, bro. It's all right. That was a great segue, Af. Thank you, bro. Yeah, <laughs> Pokemon <laughs> Day. No, 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 I don't want to talk about that no more, bro. Pokemon. Pokemon. Five I ruined it for me, bro. Oh, my fuck, <laughs> no. my fuck. Let me pop the dick out of my mouth. <laughs> Who won Pokemon, bro? Anybody? I don't know. We, we talk about something else, bro. Wait, do oh, okay, we, do we know any of the leaks? No. Oh. There's there's leaks, but they look really fake. But oh, that's um, what I mean. Like we always get those fake ones. Look, all I'm saying is, is, I saw look too if, good to be true, bro. If they give us Johto Legends, I'm sucking dick for that game. Ooh, let me get my throat. Is, I, wait, wait, I would no honestly. Leaks? So Johto, in a, anything you can have my money. I was gonna yeah. say in a, in an ideal world, they go on a three year cycle. We get Let's Go Johto. We get Arceus something or Legends something, and then we get another mainline game. But I don't think they're gonna stick with Let's Go, which is unfortunate. But if they announce I'm a Legends, the you rumor was. Legends Yoto, I'm sucking dick for that. The rumor was Legends Burn Tower, which would well, be Yoto. Get the game, like that's a crazy extreme, bro. Nah. Would you not do that? What? No, okay, okay look, here's the scenario, Afro. Right? You could be a okay. hero for the rest of the world. Pokemon Company pulls up and says, "This is our guy. You suck his dick right now. The rest of yeah, the world." Yeah, yeah. I will Yoto. do that. I will do that. Dude, but how I'm hearing what you're saying? No, no, no. But, but 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 this is what I'm hearing. What he's saying? I like like they announced the game. He's all y'all suck dick for it. But it's coming no matter what. Like, you could just you, you could just pay money. You could just pay the seventy dollars. Right. No, but, but you don't have to suck. You don't know what's coming. To suck the dick. Oh, oh, oh that's not, what I'm you're not, saying. It's okay. Dick I'm saying if I have to suck dick for Burn Tower to be a real thing, I might just have to get on my knees. Yeah, y'all forget that your mouth is on If you want to suck dick, you could just do that. Times, bro. You, you could also just suck dick, yeah. <laughs> you ain't got to do the Pokemon well, thing. Dick is just dick there. I'm not getting Johto out of it. Like, I got to get something out of it. Coward. What if Ash died in a shootout? I'd wobble it. I, I, I so, guess. Uh, I, I, the, the one the one leak I saw, my fault, man. I feel like you had something hot and steamy, and I just fucked it up, bro. Go on. Bro. No, no, no. I, I was just going to continue on with the, with the Pokemon thing, because I heard that... Oh, There's gone. heavy rumors that they're gonna bring like Gen One through Three onto the Nintendo Switch online. Ooh, no one cares. They can stop it. it isn't it a thing right now? I care about that. I, I care feel about like that. People always get hyped about this shit. Like, bro, just get an emulator. Yeah, because oh Nintendo is notoriously good. good at having good emulation. On their okay, platforms. so okay. He, here's here's the thing though. What emulation's not good at is trading online and doing shit like that. Right. So I've, I've I've had a Pokemon video theory idea for a while, like extreme thing I wanted to do, but the emulation <laughs> tech ain't there. That's so goofy. And like, because no. uh, like a big rumor was, or the reason why that rumor started getting spun was because I think there was like a, a trailer for Pokemon Stadium coming to like the Switch Online or whatever, and it said like, oh, trading is not available in this version, and then they went back and removed that uh, little disclaimer from the trailer. So that's why people have been talking about like, oh, they might have Gens one through three on like the Switch Online emulator bullshit. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like. Like we can get into this conversation if we if it's gonna be one, but I think the Switch is low key the best console out, bro. I love it. I love the Switch. Okay, I, it's, not, it's, it's not, so not, good, bro. Not to go too far back, but okay. I just saw a tweet and this is news to me. Is Aiden black? No, that was a joke. That was a joke. It's because oh, okay. like he's always around like you know black content creators and all the okay, shit. Maybe. I was say, I just, look, I didn't. I didn't see some white passing fellas in my lifetime, but I don't think that nigga's a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> What did you say before that, Afro? I, I, I'm bro, bullshit. I'm fighting for my life right now. He said Switch was the best uh, console out there. The best bro, you think you think that's you think that's bullshit, Moon? Uh, uh they have the. I mean, 
they got the good. best library. <laughs> like you can't even deny yeah, that. Uh, in terms of like what the s platform can do, I feel like they're decades behind and what they're offering. Why, okay, why yeah, yeah, but, 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 I but just said I'm not, I'm, joke. I'm not, I'm not even talking about like like graphics. I'm not talking about like graphics and no, no, shit. No, but I'm talking like this content wise. Yeah, like, like gimmicky, the, gimmicky. What you mean content wise? There's mad content on the Switch. Yeah. I'm talking about like just like online features. Hi, Hannah. Uh, no, 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 hold no, on, no. hold on, hold on. Dion, are you really gonna argue best console when you just never mind, bro? You yeah, said yeah, 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 you said you said the yeah. Switch is the best console, period. You did not no, say the best console. No, 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 no. no. Because but it has the okay, best catalog of games. Not, okay, Switch, that's a different conversation. Is, okay, but okay, but hear me out. Hear me out. I'm talking like it's just convenient. There's a good catalog to bring on the go type shit. I feel like you don't even get looked that crazy for having a Switch in public mm. as you would like a switch deck or some other so shit, you know what I'm saying? Better than? Steam deck, no, Steam deck so is what I meant. Thing, that shit is, fat. The, the, so that's true. First of all, the Steam deck is not a wieldy machine. That mm. being said, the Steam deck is better than the switch, but the switch got Nintendo games, bro. Like, yeah, bro. Like, it's so yes. cool, bro. Yeah. I, I mean, I think Apple's got a good point. Like, what, what console that's out right now? Like, what generation uh, of console would you say is better than the switch? The switch? Uh, Again, when you said that, I thought you were talking about like, everything a console no 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 no, no. I'm, 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 I'm just talking about like the experience that's coming with the shit like specifically too okay, yes. like i'm not really impressed with is... anything right now if I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you if i had to like if i had to get rid of everything right now bro uh i got your ps5 or 2k but really being real uh i think the switch is definitely the best one i'm not gonna lie yeah. i think for like the ps5 and xbox really I mean, really i'm an xbox I'm, I'm an xbox shill obviously that's, that's not here there, don't be dick riding yeah but i, I think, think like there, there's not much these consoles are offering right now. Right now, though. yeah, I agree. If I had to choose one console to go alongside my PC, it's the Switch, 100%. Me too. Let's ask it, ask it this way. Let's say, because I'll give it to the Switch in this respect. If you had somebody who's never played a video game in their life and they had to get one console to like yeah, yeah, the have their experience, then yeah, it's the Switch for sure. Yeah. I'm. St I mean, uh, shit. Even with all my experience, I'm still getting the switch yeah, right same. now. I just, I just feel like, cause I mean, obviously we have heavy hitters on the PS5 and not really on Xbox, but we have heavy hitters on like the PS5 and shit. But like, it's like every eight months, it's a good game. Whereas like the Switch, I can get time at that anytime I want to. Not gonna lie, it's mad games on there. Okay, wait. Is that real though? Because Nintendo has been ass at dropping games. This is this is gonna no, but this is gonna vary per person. But I think. Uh -huh. I definitely spend more time on PS5 than I do on the Switch. I mean, that's that, that's valid. Like, yeah, I, I that's, well, that depends play, on the game. Cause, cause like, if, if, yeah, well, what are you playing <laughs> right, right now? For real, I, I would love to spend more time on the PS5. I yeah, I, I like, think that's a big console general, in that's most that's retrospects. Bro, but there's nothing there. If it wasn't for all the 2K, PS4 games, I would do. not be playing. Yeah, the, if it were for 2K23, this would be a Warzone dust collector. I would this would I would not be touching this shit. I just feel like everything that I primarily play. I guess they Bro, play a lot of yeah, Can we talk about the fact? Okay, so wait, wait, what, what, what you, you guys mentioned Switch PlayStation? Right now, my, my Switch collects dust for like a year straight before I ever actually play anything on it. Yeah, can I, we I talk about how we, we no. mentioned PlayStation slander and Nano showed up? Yeah. Oh <laughs> I also noticed. Nano. I also noticed. No, you don't. No, I think, right. I think, I think overall right now, besides, like, there, there is a drought that has been happening a lot this generation. I think everything is mid right now, personally speaking. So, but if I had to, but if I had to pick this oh, pure quality, what I mean, that came out like two years ago. That was last like, year. Or, that, bro, the time is not real. It doesn't matter either way. <laughs> also, like uh, either, but thing, still, but still, not, it's been a whole year since then. I'm God not playing. War. I'm not playing any console unless it's my PC. Like, I'm that's the only thing I'm playing games on, unless it's 2K, in which case I do play on my PS5. But like 2K, like that's not like. Okay, oh, but I, gotta, like, I have a PS5 for this. But, but aside you, from Afro Fire, like, what are we firing up the Switch for? Then, what 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 new what exciting thing has been fired up on the Switch? On a no, but the, no, but the, but the, you, is this a real question? Are we, are we, yes, it is. is. Real I mean, I, I am personally not, playing my Switch a lot right now because I'm playing Fire Emblem Engage. But other than that, like, what are you playing? Fire Emblem Engage Metroid Prime Remastered literally just came out. You got the Pokemon games if you're in a Pokemon. Yeah, 16 FPS. Uh, but you're still playing it though. What are you playing on the PS5? <laughs> nah, the PS4 I didn't, I didn't, sale? I didn't play it. No, wait, 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 wait. I couldn't, I couldn't wait. handle it. Fuck, fuck this, fuck the Switch. What are you playing on PS5 right now? Right now, you're loading it you're up right now. Fighters, God of War. Nigga. God you're playing, War. God, you're playing God of War still, <laughs> nigga. The game came out like two, six months ago. I, still. I okay, but like, right. Right. Okay, but I'm saying, but once you, but once you, okay. beat, but once you, beat, but once you beat, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the last So here's, I, I, I can give you guys a load. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm running through The Last of Us Part 1 along with the show right now. When I'm done, I still haven't got to Ragnarok, and then I'm going to fire up Sonic Frontiers probably because I never got to that game either. 
Bro, uh, but that's, look, 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 look what we were amped before when you mentioned Pokemon. You're like remasters of old games. Metroid I, Prime, another bro, but, remaster. No, but, the, but the thing, but the, like, the, I think, but the library of the Switch, the library Switch is just deeper. Is it is deeper? It's, 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 it is right now though. Okay, I mean, it's like, it's listen, it's deeper there's, there's because you guys are saying of different games you can play on PlayStation. I feel like okay, no, no, no what in the Switch? Because the Switch That's obviously crazy. has like it's you know really good catalog of like Mario games, Zelda games, you know the exclusives that you can't get anywhere else. I get it, but what I'm trying to say is like I feel like there's way more of a variety. And again, I I understand PS5 releases have been you know. Not you know few and far between. What about but what, PS5 what, what includes all PS4 games. But what, what variety? So about, I was I was, so also, I was about to bring that in. Which is the system to go to? If we're I talking mean, RPGs, I agree. That's even all I we, use mine for. Even if we include PS4 games, like what what, what PS4 games are worth playing? There's like ten. Like right? Animal's Universe 2 and uh this is cool. All right, you're uh, not but also are we only wait 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 are we? I can also on the Switch. I almost lost my mind, bro. Now I know this is not. This is not on Sony. This is on uh, Rockstar because they are a horrible company. But I try to play Red Dead 2 again. So I launched Red Dead 2 on my PS5. Like, oh, I bet this shit runs smooth as a bitch. No, nigga, it still runs like it did on the PS4. Yeah, they they've not oh, they've because, not given it the update yet. Wait, did they come yet. out with a PS5 they version or is it just PS4 not. played on they PS5? Have, they still have not. Like, what's up with Rockstar, bro? Get your boys in order. Well, that's they've, Rockstar. That's not. They've been like not. naughty dogs. They've been rushing on the laurels. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I, the only other I thing like, I got, I, I got just, real quick. I just feel like, oh, is, my fault, go on. I, I was just gonna say the only thing I got real quick was you guys. When you guys say that the PlayStation has no variety for selection, that's because any game that's on either console, you uh, you say you already play on your PC. If you weren't literally removing every single game that ever came out on PC and also PlayStation, it's got a library. You know what I mean? No, I don't I'm, know. I'm, I, I, no, I, I, my, my, you're not my, wrong. My no, my thing about the, okay, I'm not saying. Obviously, the PS5 or the PS in general has an amazing catalog of games. There, there are great games you can play, but like, but a majority of them, once you beat them, like you're kind of done. Whereas I feel like the Switch has much more options. Yeah, like, like, like when I, I get a that game way. that I really look forward to on the PlayStation 5, it feels like I'm gonna watch a movie in IMAX. Mm -hmm. Like it's a great experience. It's amazing, Exclusive, but it's yeah, over yeah. so soon, bro. And then I'm just like, well. You know, if I want to play any multiplayer game that I'm interested in, COD or whatever, I got to do a soul sacrifice and delete something else, you know? But, it's I, like also, it's... but I also think, I think the, the definitely is POV to, per, like, you know, person to person because I think Obviously, a, yeah. a, a, major, a majority of this call only plays AAA games. Like, so I think that's like hindering POVs a lot because me and Omega play a lot of bullshit that y'all never play. So I think, uh, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so I think, <laughs> so, so I think our, we're, we're, we're arguing is very different. Bye, thank I you, 34, bud. Uh, appreciate you. Catalog's deeper. There are much more like very niche and different titles I'm going to find on a, on a Switch than a PS5. What? I feel like it's there's just a lot of cool yeah, indie games on PS5 too. There are indie games on everything, but I'm saying the catalog know, on Switch saying, is you deeper. Said you used to play like random little niche bullshit. So that's what I figured you were talking about. It's like. I'm, I'm just glad Balvin included me playing Triple A Unite, bro. I appreciate it. Triple A Unite. Triple A Unite is. You take that great. Yeah, this ain't niche. All this I'm ain't niche. Is, can you play Pokemon Unite on the PS5? Like, I don't think so. I'm back on the PS5 Thank argument. You. Omega. Thank um, you, bro. Um, <laughs> okay, I am, I am a little confused, PS5. though, because it sounds like one of the arguments against the PlayStation is that. You guys just don't replay the games like i don't i don't understand yeah it's, it's not about like, no it's not, a, not but your the, cup of tea no you can replay the games i'm saying but i have i can do more than i have i don't want to only have that that's what i'm saying like i'm gonna i'm gonna play god of war i love it i might play it again a year later mm -hmm. but it's just it's done it's a finished experience where it's but like it's, but i'm so I'm, I'm confused so, that, so that, what is that but not the case I'm for not, just any not, single player game what is dropping like crazy on the switch right now that you could just Pop out, I'll pop seven different games off. Then I don't really have much of a dog in this fight. I don't, I don't play many I'm, PS5 think, games think, or Switch games. If I'm honest, but like I think I'm just, my, I think my point's being misconstrued here. I'm not, I'm I'm not saying that the, 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 the quality of games on the PS5 are fucking incredible, and there are incredible God of War. You're the quantity like, is, in, is I'm saying, I'm saying that for me personally, if I were to be getting a console right now and I wanted a a, a plethora of like incredible titles to play, not just the AAA ones, there's a bunch of shit for con not PC included consoles i play the god of war ragnarok i play elden ring there's like an eight month gap between whenever i turn shit on ever ever that's just me though and i know yeah. this is all this, this is all subjective okay like, so then so now so now my question is like, then, then what are the titles on the switch then because like i feel like for me there's always an eight month gap on my okay, switch like, no, but, but, but but the titles listen, I give you you're not, you're not gonna play them though that's what i said it was me and i said it was, listen, it's listen, like but, but that's why i'm asking for no, examples put me on give it to you nigga so here's the thing he has been asking for a while 
if you were to get he Balvin literally said if you were to get a console today like whether it was a ps5 or a switch like you'd never owned a switch you got breath of the wild you got mario odyssey you got luigi's mansion you got both fire emblem games you got pokemon there's a lot there for okay you to play. that's fair Wait, but that's like a, a lot of a lot of those are old and it feels like a lot of the examples playing. on playstation were old like right now like if you if you had to pick a console to play a game like what are you booting up right now you not not like the general per person because you said that like like right now i could boot something up on my switch like what are you gonna boot up on your playstation because you have eight month wait or whatever the fuck you were saying so lois yeah. is asking at least as far as what i'm hearing is like what game is that on the switch that you're booting up right now i mean this thing is literally playing fire emblem as we speak like yeah, that, no that's... i am but i'm, I'm asking you niggas because like i i i just i'm, I'm asking for clarification because i just felt like at first i was understanding the whole point of like i played this game on the playstation and then it's done i'm like but is that not the case for every yeah, game no, but, but no but, then, the, but the but the point my, sorry my point is not like i play it and it's done that's every game obviously i'm saying that the window between whenever i'm personally getting my ps5 again is months in between because the games that come out are very stressed throughout and they're mainly just single player hits that just so, go like I year between so what are the switch games switch. that are bringing so you is, back is, are, so when you, when you say this are you saying that applies to like the playstation exclusives or just games on the playstation in general exclusives okay so what no, what so switch exclusives switch, are bringing oh, you home i know fire emblem came I'm out not, recently not, but like i have no i have no debate i thought you were just talking about overall because if you're talking about overall, like, for example, if you're somebody who plays, like, fighting games, for example, you can either play that shit... Well, yeah, because I, I'm obviously a big fighting game guy. I'm not playing absolutely. any fighting games or on the Switch. Or you can play that shit, like, way worse performance <laughs> on Wi-Fi <laughs> dial-up shit on, <laughs> on the Switch. Look, so all, all like, I'll say about yeah, the Switch, yeah. the Switch has way more timeless games. No, I, I give that's you that. That's on Nintendo in general. Well, that's because they're just releasing, like, basically the same game for, like, the game past over and 30 over. years. That was my yeah. point. Like how 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 often can you miss if you just release the same Mario game every year? And, and, like, that's just not okay. That's not true, bro. Like, I don't I don't I don't think they're releasing the same Mario game. No, Obviously, they won't release Mario more Mario games. games We've been on Mario Kart Eight for eleven years. Well. <laughs> and we're still playing Mario Kart. That's what I'm saying. That's my point. Nintendo's really good at finessing. Props to them. And they're still charging full price. Nintendo are the biggest finesse. They just dropped like they just dropped like thirty more tracks too. Also, they just they just dropped like thirty more tracks. I don't even play Yo, that shit. They know how to swindle. I'm like, listen, props to Nintendo. I, if they was drug dealers, they would have the whole game unlocked. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> and the thing is, they will fool you guys and will sell gangbusters. So you can't even say anything, bro. Okay, so my only, doing the same shit. My, my only other thing, and like again, like I, I say, it, it sounds like I'm trying to write for Sony. I'm really not, because like I said, yeah. I don't have a bunch of PS5 exclusives, whatever. Break I'm saying either. It, shit. Um, but like, so um, when Omega started naming games, he's saying shit like. like both Fire Emblems, for example, like Three Houses is like several years old at this point. But I also feel like one of the arguments against like PlayStation was that the the gap and that the games. But I'm like, if we're talking like older shit, it's like you still have like, I don't know, like the PS5. Well, for me, it's a PS5 game. I never played it on PS4, but like Ghost of Tsushima, which I felt yeah. like from what I saw is a decent enough upgrade to warrant it being called a PS5 game. But like there is definitely other shit to play if you're taking into account like everything that's released on it. And that's the thing, too. You can't just look at, I don't know, single player games because a lot of people multiple games are, like, like there's game. a lot of people who are just playing and like there is this crowd. I'm not saying this is us, obviously, but there's that crowd who's like, oh, I just play fucking Warzone or I just play Fortnite or I just play 2K. And like in those respects, you're never booting up your dusty ass switch yeah, to play so those games because it's I not know. So it's so so it's so it's so, 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 yeah, exactly. It's, 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 a, it's a Warzone machine. How is that like? It's not that, a, that, that's one no, game. I listened no, to one. No, game. Listen no, like no, but I'm saying for those, right for those people, for, for, no, for, 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 right it is. It is. No, I'm saying for for, <laughs> no, for certain people, it is a one game machine, and that usually lasts for months. Am I wrong? You just said that.